it's like pure conjecture and not looking at results. I would yeah. say still the number one. Like, it's actually nuts. I'm pretty sure his results have been good enough to get number one because he won a cyber zone, got second and another one, and then did the best at run back, right? Yeah. He got second at run back. Yeah, but he did the best at a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So second. So yeah, uh, I'd say... Yeah, that's a pretty strong case for one. Is that a base? Uh, assuming nothing happens here or at Digger Bow, I would still put him... Well, like, maybe. Brandon could, like, have a huge run at Bigger Belt. Exactly. That's why I said assuming nothing happens. So, I can't wait for Dadpool to win all those money matches. Uh, I'm hoping he wins all the money matches. I'm definitely, definitely going to be cheering for the boy, Dadpool. And I hope he Dude, we're going to go loud. We're going to be loud as fuck. I we're going to be obnoxious during he's those gonna money have, matches. He's going to have that house, though. We're not going to be there. What? We're not going to be near him. Oh. He's money matching. Because they're doing it at the house, and then we're going to be at the other place. What? Did you get invited? I'm streaming the damn event. <laughs> no, but are you streaming the Friday no, event? No, I'm not, but... Did I was... invite? I said I didn't get an invite. Uh, give me that plus one, fam. Let me see. Give me that plus one. Alright, uh, is anyone going to watch this VOD? Probably Neil. Maybe. Neil, 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 please don't. Please don't judge me. Alright, Zach. Tell him that the local, local TO Tucson, one of the biggest TOs in Tucson, I'm looking for an invite along with Zach. Happy cut. Cut. Also cut. Easy TO. Easy TO God. What the fuck, Zach? What? You won't type in Easy TO God? Alright, I see. I, Yo, see, I, I see. know Finger Stripes got invited. Yeah, why? A TO! I'm the TO and I'm on PR. You did make them skins. Wow. But yeah, you definitely what? can't have like the three to 200 people that are gonna be there at yeah. Digger at the bow. But I'm like a TO fan. There you are. TO, PR. TO, PR. Shit commentary. You got some of the best commentary. Oh, God. I actually have the best commentary. So oh, thank you. Amazing. Very, very kind of you. Just being I real. I should probably like step it up. I've been so lazy about it recently. There we go. Oh my god. So, definitely, I definitely peeped at Nitro versus Blue. And it looked very rough for the Marth in that video. Yeah. Super rough. Just like. Something about the way Blue moves. It's like. It's scary, dude. So good. It's so fucking good. It's actually crazy. And like, he just does what he needs to do. Like, I know he doesn't like do any like super crazy tech, but he just does what he needs to do. The only thing that I've seen him like really mess up is like bomb recoveries, you know? Mm -hmm. But everything else is just like, puts the shit in the right spot. Reaction speed is pretty fucking good. Like, on tech chases, I'm always like, I'll mix tech to like mess him up, and it's like, I got my ass kicked for that. Or I'll like, I'll do this tech, and like, hopefully he won't catch it. Get my ass kicked. It's like, oh man, it's rough. And then sometimes I'll like try to trick him up at the ledge, but he like, gives it just enough respect to where I die. You know, like, some people don't respect me up at the ledge, so I hit them, and some people respect me too much, so I get back for free. It's like, my man gives me just the right amount of respect. It's like, if you have earned this much, it's time to get. No extra, no freebies, no handouts here. And it's like, it makes him sick. Oh. Plus, like, Link's combo game is pretty good, right? Yeah. My man just makes it look fucking insane. Like, busted ash. Yeah, that's what he's really good at, just making it look like... Yeah, he just, he just holds, he just stands in these spots that are so good. Because, like, once he hits you, he's like, you're going to be here. So if I stand here, I'm in a really good spot to hit you again. And then he hits you again, and you feel so bad about, like... I think that's it. Oh, no. No, that, that was almost it. 
Wow. The fear. Got so scared. The fear so scared. of God. Yeah, he's been like, he's been making every situation look like he knows exactly what's happening. So like, he gets a little extra credit in some spots where he shouldn't. But that's like, that's part of the fear you build up, dude. See, like right there, like, Neil definitely was like, yeah, there's no fucking way, right? And he like calls him out. And that scares them into like different situations where they shouldn't be scared. I actually can't help believe he made that back. What the hell? Crouch cancel, of course. Let's see, he wore Slightest AGT. I'm telling you, man, this like. This feels like number one. Easy? I'm not gonna say easy. Convincingly? But it feels very convincing from the little bit I play with it. It feels like. It feels like number one. Like an unstoppable force? I won't say that, but definitely definitely some kind of overwhelmingly well-built wall. Definitely the kind of wall you want in your backyard. Keep all the cats out. Don't want to shoot all flowers. Them now? I mean, I'm talking about real cats. I'm talking about real? I'm talking about, cats. I'm talking about the cats that like shit on your flowers. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Those time to come in. Shit on the flowers. Like some kind of fucking litter box. I have no idea. I think it smells nice. I don't fucking know. God damn. I guess. They have preferences too for where they shit. Like, if they like a certain house, they'll be back in the house. No shit there. Is it. So, learning actually has this one cat. Very. Huge lack of agility on the cat. It's a slow cat. It's a slow cat. It's not very fine no finesse at all. Like one time it tried to climb on the bed and yeah, you know, most cats just jump on, right? Like, yeah. from, like yeah. this thing this thing dug its claws into the sheets, dragged its body up the bed, and I was like, oh I've never seen this before. And this cat's this cat's well taken care of, man. Like Is it a fat it's cat? No, it's not fat at all. It's just, it's <laughs> definitely not like by well fed I mean it's definitely not malnourished. Right. Definitely gets the amount of food and water it needs. Definitely ships regularly. And yet, this cat just could not for the life of it climb up this fucking bed. And it wasn't like a tall bed or anything. I was like, like maybe lower than this, like here. This is like a normal bed. This motherfucker's like digging his claws in, making holes, <laughs> screeching. Motherfucker, like, you think this cat was about to die or something? And just like that. Oh, uh. Best of so my man, my man, my man looking around. Jeremy over here saying, "I love everyone from Hawaii. They're my boys." I love Olimar. He's listed he main does, on he the He does PR love all of them. So like something I learned about Jeremy is that like. He always talks about alias theory. Like, I never hear anything else come out of his mouth except alias theory. The, the alias theory, my bad. Wait, what are you talking about? This, there's this snake man in Hawaii, and Jeremy loves Oh, yeah, this guy, this guy. The yeah, then he was second theory. on the PR. Then he was like fourth on the PR. No, he was like, Actually, blew my mind. Like, I thought he was dominant. The, the guess, snake man who perfected trip. Yes. JV5. Multiple snake. times. Multiple perfects. Multiple times. Multiple perfects. Mind you. It's very hard to perfect someone as Snake. I don't know if I could perfect someone with Snake in a one-stop match. Yeah, that seems really like, hard. What the fuck? You blow yourself up half the time. You're just playing a shitty game. And... Maybe like, maybe Trip didn't know what Trank did. Maybe. What do you think? I mean, you figure it out at some. You have four stops to figure it out. Can you do it? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Like... This, this is this is like some Yeti shit, dude. It's like fucking the Yeti of Hawaii. The Bigfoot. Like, how did how did Bigfoot get to Hawaii? I fucking took a cipher. Like, I don't know. Did he, like, bomb recovery over there? Did he tech off the wall and wave land off? How the fuck did this Yeti get to Hawaii? Actual horse shit. I think he had oh, Foxhound. Oh. He had Foxhound take him there. Indeed. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, Neil had it because like he could have back aired, down aired right there, and that would have been oh, no, the money, Neil. the money, money, money. Okay, 
Got pokes. Got pokes. Oh god, this is it. Oh, I lied. I fucking lied. Yeah, Blue's been pretty consistent with those back air, like, edge guards. Yeah. But, uh, good stuff for Neil. Oh, wow. Call out with that F smash. I feel like Neil's been playing pretty well. It's just, like, the stuff that's not super refined, he's calling out super hard, right? Like, think about it this way. Like, you go, you go to, like, your state fair, you bring your lemonade, and they're like, wow, this lemonade's pretty good. You win. And you bring it to, like, the national lemonade contest, and they're like, Motherfucker, is this, this shit, this shit ain't mixed properly, dude. Look at this shit. And then they take it out, pour it in two cups, and they're like, look at this. These two, these two cups taste different because it mixed properly. It's like, this this some, like, shit you get away with locals where it's, like, oh, almost just right. But then, like, bring it to the national, you're like, oh, mama, like, this, this lemonade staying in the fridge, dude. This lemonade staying in the fridge. There it is. Staying in the fridge. In the fridge.